Hey, what's up everyone? We're gonna open up a Tristan Recollection uh, box. And the uh, contents are in the description, but we can take a look really fast. And then we can start opening up some boxes as well as some card sleeves. So on the back, you can see what we got here. What I'm concerned about is the Dragon Shield art sleeves, because I just bought this. <laughs> so I guess I got two packs. Uh, we'll find out. And then we also have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rarity Duelist Collection. Rarity Collection 2. Um, opened up last night. Wasn't able to stream, but I did get it recorded and I might make a video. So, we'll go ahead and start with this. I got my trusty knife. Okay. We can take a look at the box um, as soon as I get this foiling off. As you can tell, it wasn't cheap, but it was a uh, retail. So, right here we got Tristan Shadow Dancer. You may know my YouTube name as A Day, but Tristan is my actual first name. So, this is the exact reason why I had to get this box. Okay. Right. Uh, to the side. And then. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's awesome. Tristan the Busty, actually. Okay, and then we got, um, let's see. Looks like we got two of the same art sleeve packs. Let's go ahead and open one up. And hopefully my mic doesn't cut out while uh, we're streaming slash recording. I'm curious to look at these uh, sleeves. I did play Grand Archive, but I fell off a little bit. Okay. It's got... It's got kind of a textured feel to it. It seems like it would be easy to shuffle. Um, you don't have to worry about like the uh, glossy finish of other Dragon Sleeve cards. Um, I want to call them... Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> But, um, oh, and then also, if you look right here, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, yeah, cool. Um, I'll definitely, I have enough for um, a Grand Archive. Whatever. Uh, okay, and then we also... In the pack, we got uh, a 60-card pre-constructed deck, main deck, and then a pre-constructed 12-count 12, uh, 12 uh, material deck. So right off the bat, you can play the game. It's, uh, it's actually a, a pretty fun game. The reason why I fell off of Grand Archive is just because of work and um, really... In Focusing on Yu-Gi-Oh! But look, we, let's check out the material deck first. Let's hope we get a, a signed copy card. Oh, look at this. This is um, a divider, I think. Yeah, these are dividers. So you do get three um, card dividers. I don't know if that pulls out. Oh wow, flip around, there's another. Okay. Oh, very nice. You know, if we don't get an alternate art card, I won't be surprised, but um, these are really cool dividers. All right, so mastermind scheme, oh, 
Actually, this is not the material deck uh, pre-constructed. This is supposed, to, this is like extra cards that go with the 60 card main deck. Right. We won't take too long because this is beyond my comprehension at the moment. Maybe if I get more into... So it looks like Tristan, the busty, <laughs> um, she's an assassin. Who would have guessed? I mean, these are awesome looking cards. All right, yeah, I love the purple. And then also it comes with a quick start guide, uh, real easy to learn how to play. And you know, if you buy this, you can get um, started. So give it a try. We're gonna put that back. We're gonna put it back in its case. Cool thing is, we get three packs to open. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, here it is. Oh, Little Miss Tristan Shadow Dancer. So she does use tokens. Uh, she's Umbra. Um, I, I forgot the Umbra from uh, Diana. Diana, there we go. Tristan Underhanded Assassin. There we go. We had some shifting mirages in that other pack. So the disappointing thing about this box is that it's, you know, it's, it's not a, oh man, what is it? Hold on one second. It's. Low, high quality art, low quality, um, uh, box, let's just say that. First pack. Uh, 
Oh, we got a super rare. <clears throat> Super. Nice. We're getting sold. I don't use uh, Neos. Okay, it looks like there's a, a crystalline archetype. All right, last pack of Grand Archive Mercur Mercurial Heart Recollection. Okay. <laughs> little fanfare, little uh, made with guns. That'll be pretty nice for a Diana deck. Um, range three. So you got to sacrifice power cell. That's pretty cool. Add that to a Diana deck. Oh, and then an ultra rare Overlord Mark Third Mark Three Guardian Ar Automaton, cost of four, unique ally. So you can only have one of these on the board at a time. Uh, Intercept Spell Shroud Steadfast True Sight. Okay, this card seems like it's a little OP. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure since it's. An ultra rare, it's probably worth like more than $20. I could be wrong, but this is a, a, a banger of a Grand Archive card. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm, all right, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't hit me. All right. Well, that is it for Grand Archive Break Collection, uh, Tristan Edition. AKA me. Let's just take a look at that. Oh, no. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Yeah. I would say that's uh, pretty good. Um, I'm definitely keeping these. Um, put that over there.